gonna kick off this stream by say, by stating rare. And when I say rare, I mean very rare W for the state of California. Although I do reside here currently I'm from the East Coast, not gonna sit up here and act like I'm a big fan. It has its pros and cons. I'm not gonna sit here and act like everything about California is the worst thing on earth. Cause I know some people do that. That's not fair to them. Just like every other state, it has its pros and its cons. But I think I'm an East Coast baby till I die. That being said, we do have a rare W for the state of California. A W in which I hope becomes a federal thing. But for now, it's just a state thing. According to headlines, California will force digital stores to admit players don't own digital content. Uh, as reported by, yo, shout out to Web Slinging with the subs. I appreciate you. As reported by The Verge, California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed a new bill that will forbid digital storefronts from using the terms like buy unless customers are explicitly warned that they are paying for a license to a game which may expire at any time. As retailers continue to pivot away from selling physical media, the need for the consumer protections on the purchase of digital media has become increasingly more important. California's assembly member... Jaqui Irwin says in a statement, I thank the governor for signing AB 2426, um, ensuring the false and deceptive advertising from sellers of digital media incorrectly telling consumers they own their purchases becoming a thing of the past. Several high profile companies have taken games entirely offline in recent years, leading many players to question the legality of removing access to the games that people have paid for. Yep, Ubisoft just did it with the crew. Um, it, it happened to the recent or is there horizon four i think something like that um it happened to a bunch of movies and tv shows last year on playstation there's another game i can't remember off the top of my head it's becoming more and more common it just happened again with another game last month oh it happened to um but it was due to like music licensing um spec ops the line it happened to spec ops the line yo shout out to jay mills like you don't own the rights to these digital games they can pull them off your hard drive at any time which is fucking crazy because you paid money um but 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 so this is good that a bill was passed that's going to protect consumers so at least people are aware hey when you buy this digital item you don't own it if that's the case you know um i think this is good because although this is a thing only for california i'd imagine it's annoying to have to create a storefront strictly for california and then like the rest of the other states so i wouldn't be surprised if they just make this a thing that appears for everybody's steam everybody's psn everybody's xbox live because it would just be more um what's the word i'm looking for more efficient versus having it's going to pressure them into putting these things in place and at least people will be educated when they when they um when they purchase the thing so then you can make the conscious decision do i want to buy this digitally knowing that i don't own it or do i just want to go to well fuck gamestop we're not going there do i just want to order a copy off of amazon do i want to risk wasting some gas and going to best buy knowing they don't ever have anything um but a headache uh <laughs> now the consumer has it gives the consumer more choice because i'm pretty sure I i'd imagine digital sales are still going to be the dominant sales force because of the convenience but I'm sure you might see a slight decline in sales and digitals if more people are aware that they don't actually own the game. Uh, do you think this means the next console generation will have a disk drive still? It's, I, it's hard to tell. I think we got to see how that PS5 Pro goes, right? If the if the disk add-on sells well, I think there's a chance the PlayStation 6 and the next Xbox have disk drives. But if it doesn't sell well there's a chance we could see them try to push an all digital storefront. Um, we'll see how this plays out. No, I hate this. Why do you hate this lunchbox? I'm genuinely curious. Why do you hate that something is designed to protect you? Uh, vid number one, free PS five demo for Superman clone video. The shows, I don't care about that. Um, oh, yo, shout out to Zeno the Hermit with the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. Uh, oh, wait, no, Twitch added one gifted for nine. Whoever gifted all these subs, I think it says Twitch. I don't know. Who shout out to them for the get the subs. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, oh, my fault. I came in late. Yeah, the bro, the headlines right there. California forces digital stores to admit players don't own digital content. That's a that's a protection for you. Why would you not like that? 
<laughs> did your did your California bias just flare up? These fucking liberals, what are they doing to my games? Like, no, it's good. It means they're letting you know whether or not you own the game or not. So you you can make the conscious decision: Do I still want to purchase this digitally or not? That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, my man came in on ten. Fuck Cali. I live in Texas. I don't like this shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit for every five subs twitch gifts one sub to the streamer oh that's fire uh, he dead didn't read it he just read he just raged my man's just raged so i think this is a w i hope more states adopt this or it even becomes a federal thing and i hope it becomes a global thing i hope europe i hope the eu adopts this and every other country in fucking africa and whatever else too um yo shout out to jay warren with the gifted subs i appreciate you y'all see what happens you get them subs twitch gonna give some too turn up um whatever happened to no rest for the wicked i think it's still in early access um question is are they going to try to raise the price on physical copies why would that raise the price on physical copies i don't i don't understand the core like that would be hella evil because there's no correlation between that between letting people know they don't own the digital version and raising the price on physical there there's no correlation there that would just be pure evil let's not give them no ideas shout out to ash with the sub i appreciate it speaking of raising prices though i think i did have an article yeah thank you for bringing that up speaking of raising prices let's talk about the industry plant game uh horizon zero dawn now just yesterday on stream i had a conversation shout out to booty stature for gifting five subs i appreciate you just yesterday on stream, I had a conversation about being a good consumer. It serves no purpose to be a corporate cocksucker, okay? You can be a fan of something, but there's no reason to put somebody else down because they're not a fan of what you're a fan of because these people don't pay your bills. They don't care about you. And yesterday when they announced the remaster of Horizon Zero Dawn, I said, please don't buy this shit if you already own the game. You could, there's backwards compatibility on the PS5. You can run it completely fine. Please don't upgrade for $10. It's a waste of fucking money. It's the same goddamn game. It turns out the original, not the remaster, but the original version of Horizon Zero Dawn that's out right now. Shout out to Chris for the gifted subs. I appreciate you. That's out right now. They raised the price on it. All you Sony ponies need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, people are calling this shit the Concord tax. I know some of y'all love PlayStation, but Sony is a corporation. They are not your friends. Stop cheerleading. This is why competition, you should be rooting for Xbox. You should be rooting for PC and vice versa. Because when one company holds too much power, they start doing shit that we don't like. Why the fuck is the original unremastered version of Horizon Zero Dawn going up in price why 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 so stop shitting on xbox we need them to do well because if not it's gonna be more this shit it's only gonna get worse the concord tax is real the bungee really really it should be the bungee tax four billion dollars and they're not making much money off of bungee the bungee concord tax Sony paid a lot of money to take some fat L's and now we're having to eat it on other sides of the spectrum. It's unfortunate. So be aware if you want to play Horizon Zero Dawn, the PS4 version, it's going up in $10. It's going up $10. It's going from um, $15.99 to $34.99 euros. All right, well, yeah, the 20 bucks or 40 bucks. Absolutely crazy, absolutely crazy. These Sony ponies are sheep, that's why. <clears throat> Yo, what the fuck? I got Horizon with the DLC for like 10 bucks like a year back nasty work this is a game that came out in 2017 it costs nothing for them to keep it on the storefront why is the price going up let's start asking these questions guys <laughs> be a good consumer they're gonna keep remastering until the ps6 nasty fucking work nasty fucking work um other nasty work i got for y'all too sony's on fraud watch man um, so wait, are they doing this? So if you do buy the OG, then the PS5 with it, they get more out of the consumer. That's what it seems like. What other reason would they be fucking doing it for? Um, it's sickening that we keep getting remasters and not original IPs. And when the new IPs come out, you got to support them. Other nasty news. Ubisoft workers are urged to strike in October over the, re over a return to office, man, every day, a new story. Shout out to June with the sub every day, a new story comes out. 
talking about Ubisoft and their troubles. Matter of fact, let's check the stock prices today. Ubisoft shares. Today, they're down another almost 2%. Pretty, yo, we are getting close to Ubisoft becoming a penny stock. I don't think y'all understand this. We are inching every day closer to Ubisoft becoming a dollar or less per share. This is nasty. They're in trouble. And it's all because Star Wars Outlaw severely underperformed. That's why they delayed Assassin's Creed Shadows because they need to make they they need to make sure this game does well. Especially cuz I just seen another article come out backing that rumor about Assassin's Creed Invictus being some um Fall Guys clone. Oh my god, please don't let that be true. We got more drama coming out of Ubisoft. Ubisoft's France-based workers are being called to take part in a three-day strike next month over a dispute around the company's return to office policy. That's right. Ubisoft said, y'all need to get y'all asses to work so we can polish this Assassin's Creed because we need to make some money. And the workers are saying, whoa, 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 we're already overworked. What the fuck? Really, y'all need to be having me meetings on how you can make your games more creative because you've been making the same game for the last 10 years. Um, the strike was called by French Game Workers Union. I don't know how to pronounce that. After management at Assassin's Creed Publisher told the staff they would be expected to be in office at least three days per week going forward. The union claims this decision was made without any tangible justification or consultation with the workers' representatives. GameIndustry.biz reached out to Ubisoft. The company declined to comment. After more than five years of working efficiently in the current remote work context, many of our colleagues have built or rebuilt their lives, family, housing, parenthood, etc., etc., and simply cannot return to the previous working conditions. Translation. We got used to this shit. We ain't coming back, nigga. The fuck? We've been making the same game for the last 10 years. Why do I need to come into the office? I know what we're going to do today. We're going to open up the map for the upcoming watchdogs, wherever it's set, and we're just going to put shit all over the map. We're going to regurgitate missions, bland characters, unimpressive graphics. And we're going to make sure we charge for the DLC before the game comes out. We know what we're doing today. Pick pick your poison. Why do we need to come into the office to do that? Um, <laughs> after, add some question marks. After more than five years of working efficiently in the current... Oh, wait, my bad. Our employer knows this perfectly, this perfectly well. The consequence of this decision will be the loss of our colleagues' jobs, the disorganization of many game product uh, projects, and the drastic increase in uh, psychosocial skills risks for those who remain. The union added that this return to office policy followed failed nego negotiations over profit sharings. Where the organization found management proposal to be unacceptable. Hold up. Uh, that the consequence of the decision will be the loss of colleagues' jobs, the disorganization of many projects, and the drastic increase in risk for those who remain. The union added that this return to office policy followed failed negotiations over profit sharing. Nigga, there are no profits. I'm not going to lie. Is everybody at Ubisoft incompetent? I'm not. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I am pro where I want to see people get paid more. But you guys got to be for real. Union. There, what, what are you going to negotiate? There's no money to be made. They're sharing for almost a dollar a share now. There's no money at Ubisoft. This they, I don't think they can give a raise at this point. I'm being 100% honest. You guys are going to have to sell some games. And right now, Star Wars Outlaws is not selling. Do you think if Ubisoft cut back on the amount of games they put out, they would improve? No, they need to make better games. I mean, yeah, you could do that. But I'd argue they need to increase their output right now. They need to increase, more importantly, though, the quality of their games. They need to do more Q QA. They need to get back to innovating. That's the biggest problem. There's a lack of quality control. Damn, even Roblox is more? Yeah, Roblox trades for 44 a share. It's not even close. Roblox is getting money. We talked about this yesterday. It's 44 a share. That's uh, Roblox is a, a profitable... No, they lost money today, but their shares are they're healthy. Um, da -da 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 Let's see. The union added that this return to the office. Uh, I read that a similar dispute was apparently had over the salary negotiations. As a result, the union is calling for all Ubisoft employees in France to strike on October 15th through the 17th, 2024. The union is demanding that Ubisoft introduce a formal agreement on remote remote work based on negotiations between management and the union and an immediate increase in all salaries to compensate for the drop in our living standards in recent years. 
I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a tough negotiation. They don't have no money. I blame X Defiant for Ubisoft's downfall. Yeah, I, I think it's like a bunch of shit. I think it's a bunch of shit. Don't forget Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones cost them a lot of money. You got to keep in mind that game was in development for like 10 years. X Defiant failed. Skull and Bones failed. Um, Immortals Phoenix Rising. Good. Great game. Great game. Failed. Um... The only thing they've really had off the top of my head that's been successful recently is Rainbow Six Siege and um, the recent Assassin's Creed games. But other than that, everything else Ubisoft has put out is flop. Watch Dogs flopped. Watch that that game was ass. Watch Dogs Legion, that shit was ass. Uh, the Prince of Persia. Oh yeah, the new Prince of Persia. I forgot that shit came out. Uh, the Crown Prince or whatever, the Prince of Ethiopia failed. Um, For Honor. For Honor. I said recent. 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 For Honor has like a community that's still playing, like a small community. But For Honor came out like what, 2014, 15? That's not a recent game. That shit is 10 years old, guys. <laughs> uh, but a bit of a survivor. What's Survivor? Come on, Jedi Survivor? That's an EA game. The Avatar game was solid. Yeah, but did it sell well? It didn't review. It, that game didn't review well. That was like another 7 out of 10. Um, did AC Mirage do well? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if that one did well. That game, that game, I feel like that game did split the community. Like half the community loved it, half the community hated it. There was like no in between. I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, he said, We found the PS4, nigga. The Avatar game was fire. Nah, that shit was mid. That Avatar game, if you think that was fire, you've never played Far Cry. That's all it was. It was Far Cry with blue people. Uh, like I said, they've been making the same game for the last 10 years. Yeah, the Prince of Persia game was actually really good. Unfortunately, people said DEI, black guy, I'm not playing this. And it didn't do well. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else to this? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think these negotiations are gonna go well. And this is crazy because they just announced they're delaying Assassin's Creed Shadows so they can finish polishing the game. What if nobody shows up to polish the game? Who gonna do it? I don't know, man. I I think I think the only way they're gonna get this deal done is they're gonna be like, look, man, <laughs> the CEO is gonna sit down and say, I don't, we don't got no money. I can't give you a raise, but I promise you, if Assassin's Creed does well, if we really put our foot into this shit, we will work on a new deal. But right now we don't, we don't got it. We don't fucking got it. This is a bad, this is a bad situation to be in. Um, they don't have any leverage for real. They don't really have any leverage, unfortunately. Um, I'm trying to think too, what else was Ubisoft? yeah please help us get out of this i can't remember what the fuck else i wanted to say about this shit oh well i'm kind of tired oh it is what it is it is what it is um keep an eye on ubisoft man this is looking bad this is looking bad they need to let me run the company let me draw the boat head ass um other news i got for you guys uh if you were unaware um these days anything with a black person or a person of color or a woman and don't let it be a woman of color considered woke um and we now have a new standard from the go woke go broke crowd the unreal engine 5 that's right the game that black myth wukong runs on as well as a lot of upcoming games like the um upcoming uh gears of war e-day a lot of games are running on it's like the most popular engine if your game runs on unreal engine 5 it's considered woke let's read along this lady says we're making a game where you play as a carrier rider in the 13th century in mongolia no combat just you the horses you tame bred and trained in va vast wilderness would you play this awesome what's the game engine it's unreal engine 5 the developer says oh so you people just can't develop for shit this person replies then this person says it makes sense doesn't it Woke studios always use pre-built engines to make games because they can't build their own engines. I'm going to repeat that. Woke studios always use pre-built engines to make games because they can't build their own engines. We've gotten to a point where like niggas on the internet think they could just tell people how to do their job. By this logic, we have to dismiss so many video because a lot of your favorite video games run on Unreal Engine 3 and 4. A lot of your favorite video games. A lot. That is an insane. I'm losing brain like. But you know what? The reason I wanted to highlight this comment is to show you. This is good, actually. This is good. 
I told y'all we're reaching a point where the crowd, the go woke, go broke crowd, they're starting to become more and more unhinged. Their original shitty talking, because they were shitty talking points to begin with, but their original talking points are getting lost because this community is becoming more and more fringed and unhinged. Just saying random shit. So now if anybody's in the chat, you're an aspiring game developer, I'm just letting you know right now, do not download Unreal Engine 5. Because if you do, it'll make your game woke. You need to use the Unity engine or the Cry engine or um, one of them EA or, or um, the Snowdrop engine from Ubisoft or, or one of them EA engines. Because this one is woke. Unreal DEI. <laughs> Almost all games run on a third party engine is being. Yeah, that's how games come out every year because um, usually people license engines so then they can just get to work on the game. It's inefficient to create something from the ground up unless it's just like a vision you think you can't recreate in another engine, man. Uh, I got to work early in the morning. been watching your shorts and videos. It's been slowly helping become a better person. Hey, I appreciate you, Project. The community will say anything just to oppose you. It's getting weird, man. It's getting weird. Twitter, Twitter monetization got people saying ignorant stuff. I don't even know why they're spiraling. I don't even know why because Twitter monetization is down. Twitter advertisers revenue last i checked it was like 85 percent down or something like that but uh, let's see this is from august uh, 16 yeah social media platforms estimated ad revenue dropped another 200 million in 2024 it's at an all-time low like i bet in fact i'm gonna be transparent with y'all i'm gonna be transparent with y'all because i really don't give a fuck this place this shit, I mean, let me give you an example don't be surprised if twitter shuts down in the next five years this nigga has ruined the platform. I'm gonna give y'all, I'm gonna give y'all an idea of how bad it is on Twitter right now. So before Elon made it to where anybody can monetize their Twitter with Twitter Blue, that monetization comes from tweets. How many impressions your tweet actually gets? Meaning, like, um, let me see. Da -da 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 -da. Let me show you. So let's see, like this tweet right here. View engagements. When you click view engagements on a tweet, what the fuck? Oh, right here. So you see how this tweet from Shogun has 142 views, right? That's what you get paid off of when you have Twitter blue. Uh, but you before this existed, before Elon took over, there was at. Hold up, though. I was never suicidal, by the way. Hold up. Missing endangered adult. Uh there's a missing person. I gotta go. I gotta go find. Let me stop. Uh, it was a missing person alert. CCP coming for you. Yo, chill. I got that too. It's an Amber alert. Um, yeah, if you're probably in the LA area, you probably got that shit. It's the best signal. Missing person alert. Hopefully they get found. Um, back to what I was saying. Uh, that got a little spooky, bro. I thought Elon was watching the stream or some shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, the, that reminded me of the RDC skin. I gotta go. Um, what was I about to say? Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Monetization with Twitter Blue. Before the Twitter blue monetization existed, monetization was still a thing on Twitter. The main way people made money on Twitter was um, through video advertisements. Uh, and I know this because my Twitter is monetized before everybody was able to monetize. So anytime that I would upload videos, I would get ads on my videos and I would make money. And low key for a while, that shit was a money glitch. I'm not going to lie. I'm being 100% transparent with you. This is before Elon owned Twitter. When Twitter was just breaking even, they weren't going positive, but they weren't going negative. They just needed to figure a way to go up. They were making good money on advertisements. And let me tell you the difference, okay? Freaking, I used to make on average $10,000 a month off of advertising on Twitter video. Just, I could upload a funny meme. I could upload a clip from my YouTube channel or my Twitch channel. 30 second clip, the algorithm promotes it. I'd make 10 racks a month off that shit. As long as I was posting consistently, like two, three clips a week, I was making good money. You said you're being dead ass. I'm being dead ass right now. You want to know how much I make now off this shit? This is how much he's ruined the site. How much advertisers have ran away from Twitter. I just got paid last week. I made 700 bucks off of Twitter. And the check before that, I made 300. So it was a good month. The check before that, I made 300. So do the math. 
I'm still thankful. 700 bucks, right? That's cool. I'm still thankful. I'm not going to complain. But I went from 10 racks to 700. That's how much that's how much they're losing advertisers on this fucking platform. And it wasn't just me making this type of money, by the way. There was a reason why a lot of your favorite creators were spamming videos on fucking Twitter. I know people personally that were making 20 to 30,000 a month on Twitter. I was making on the low end because I don't really tweet a lot. Um, he said, nah, you can complain. It was definitely a shift in income. The good thing is, the reason you don't see me bitch on my stream like that is because I have other sources of revenue. Uh, I don't I don't rely on one particular thing so I could take that hit in certain areas if I make it up in other places, right? Um, so that's how much Elon has ruined the website. That's how bad the money is down. And that like it actually does like scare me because like this is my favorite platform. This is my favorite social media platform outside of YouTube and Twitch. I like Twitter. I'm like, damn nigga, I'm really hoping he sells the website. He's ruined the fucking website. <laughs> but um yeah, that's just to give you an idea of how much like the business has changed. So don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Like this Twitter blue shit is a trap. You pay for this shit. You could monetize your Twitter after you get 5 million views a month on average. From like this part of the program, I get paid maybe 10 bucks a month on average for my tweets. Mind you, let's see. Let's go in. Let's take a look. Let's see. Analytics. Uh, let's see. In the last three months, in the last three months, I've gotten 13 million views on Twitter. I've made about $20 off those tweets. Don't let these niggas fool you. There's no money to be made in this shit. It's TikTok money. Uh, yo, shout out to Meech with the sub. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. He legit turned Twitter into 4chan pretty much. Yeah. Shit paying you like TikTok, bro. Shit paying you like TikTok um it is what it is man speaking of other frauds though the day before developers you remember the day before the, the fake game from last year <laughs> got a half a tank of gas that's a happy meal pretty much that's that's about it um the fake game from last year might be back the day before devs returned with fantastic 2.0 and a new kickstarter campaign who's ready to get scammed again a master class in ruining value a master class I bet you didn't see this coming in December 2023, the day before a long way to who cares? We know about the fake game. It was a game they announced years ago. People said it was fake. They finally released it. Turns out it was fake. They took it. They got it got delisted. They had to refund, ran away, whatever. Guess who's back? In a shocking post on social media, the fantastic team returned, stating that everyone deserves a second chance. They posted a link to a new game called Escape Factory and stressed that they're planning to fix their past mistakes. By past mistakes, they mean the swindling of thousands of gamers that left them a laughing stock of the gaming community. They're back on the scene with the Kickstarter they're putting together to generate funds to make more games, including the ones they just named. I'm not even kidding. If they got a trailer, I'm not going to show it because fuck them. This, when I, this, these are the type of games I'd be talking about when I say I hate these Steam Early Access survival games. They're fucking scams. How many times are, this is where I'm going to talk to the PC gamers. I'm not going to lie. You niggas are the problem too. How many, I make fun of Ethos for this shit all the time. Because there was one Steam early access game he used to play. I forgot what it was called back in like 2014. He learned his lesson because he got burned one time. How many of these games are y'all going to play where it's a desolate post-apocalyptic world with zombies and you got to craft and loot and you got to, you got to punch the coconut tree and keep it in your backpack. How many of the games are you guys going to buy for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars that never get fun fucking finished? I think, was it Daisy or whatever that shit is? That shit is still not done. You niggas is dumb. For people who say that they're the master race, it seems kind of low IQ that you guys keep buying these games. So when I come across like an asshole, when I see these trailers on my in my YouTube sub box and I click it and I start playing within the first 10 seconds, I say, oh my God, another Steam early access survival game. Because we've seen this story before. It's a fucking scam. All these games suck. They never innovate. They're boring. And on top of that, they don't get finished. But y'all keep getting fucked over. You bought a $5,000 PC to get scammed by a $20 game. Nigga, you, the math ain't math. And please make it make sense. The Please make it make just Yeah, struggle games. Please make it make sense. Uh, I was watching Markiplier play that show when I was a kid. Please be for real. I don't think it's done. Last I checked. And fuck them. Um, you know what they say about being hard hitter, right? <laughs> you said, to be honest, that's a game's G. So if so, is it good? TBH, is that 
a game sir g7 controller you talking about this you talking about this i don't know what controller this is oh it is a game sir yeah i like this controller it's um this one's nice i got it off amazon because um i don't know if y'all remember i don't know if y'all remember when i was playing shadow of the earth tree during one of the main boss fights my xbox controller broke down i i bought a, i bought a cheap off-brand xbox controller for pc a wired one it was like ten dollars i bought three of them bitches and within like four or five months all four three of them broke one of them was during a boss fight and then another one i had stick drift during was it during wukong or something it broke again so i was like all right bro i'm gonna stop being cheap i'm gonna try a new brand so then i found this one on amazon yeah it's the game sir this one's a nice happy medium because you know the new xbox controllers they're like 60 70 bucks oh yeah these ones are 40 this is the same quality these are the same quality as the uh and they're officially licensed by xbox it's, it's a good quality it's got a braided car, uh, cable i like it uh, it's, it's a nice happy medium for 40 bucks yeah i would recommend it got a good weight to it uh seven days to die came out in the obama administration shit is nasty bro uh we got a new trailer for city of the wolves upcoming fighter that i'm excited for game sir is nice it got oh yeah yeah it's got um it's not a regular controller too it's got back uh, back buttons too that you can program like right here so it's a it's more of like it's i wouldn't say it's a pro controller but it's not a regular controller either it's somewhere in the middle it's got extra buttons here too that you can program it's nice it's worth it i think it's worth the 40 um i'm a cop this always looking for the new fighters uh new fatal fury just announced that uh ken and chun lee are coming to the game i think hold on let me check it look at this do, 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 do. crossover shit terry just came to street fighter 6 so snk and capcom keep collaborating You know, you know this shit is still in early development because they announced the crossover, right? Why, why you announce Ken and Chun Li are coming to Fatal Fury, but then you use this old, you use the picture from Street Fighter VI? Like, I want to see the character model for Fatal Fury. Does it look different? No, the video's not lagging. It's just Twitter's video player shit. It's a showdown. Yeah, uh, it's no gameplay. They're just letting you know it's coming pre-order now. That's still cool. They're going to be in the game. I hope they do something different to make the characters different from Street Fighter VI. Although I guess the, the gameplay mechanics that are present will make the characters different. Yeah, it's more or less a tease. It's dope. I mean, I'm going to get this game regardless. And look, look, poor people, look. It's going to be on PS4. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. Uh, they actually said in the live stream they're announcing it early because of all the leaks today uh what else leaked did i miss something did i miss something a new capcom versus snk would go crazy any type of new verses would go would be fire right about now would be fire um what else i got for you oh uh just a quick uh piece of news uh ign has confirmed that the new hellboy movie that got announced like a month or two ago it will debut on digital platforms it's not coming to movie theaters this is going straight to netflix hulu disney plus or something i don't know one of these damn platforms uh so all but confirm this shit's gonna be ass. Uh, next, uh, I mean it looked ass in the fucking trailer. Uh, anyway.